hello friend so we all have cognitive biases so isn't this a bad thing yes and no cognitive biases are totally bad because their mental simplifier helping us process things quickly and easily like uh, detecting host uh, hostility in our boss voice the bad reputation of cognitive biases comes from when they go undetected and leave us susceptible to poor judgment. In this video, we'll be exploring what cognitive biases are and why it is important to spot them and how to handle them. So, we'll also be discussing five common cognitive biases like uh, confirmation bias, false consensus bias, affect heuristic bias, the clustering uh, illusions, and availability heuristic. So, let's get started. What are cognitive biases? Cognitive biases are systematic errors in thinking that occur when people process and interpret information. These biases often occur outside of uh, our conscious awareness and can affect our judgment, decision making, and behavior. They are the result of our brain's need to process information quickly, which can lead to shortcuts and errors in our thinking. So why is this important to spot cognitive biases? It's important to spot cognitive biases because they can lead to poor decision making, inaccurate uh, judgments, and reinforced false beliefs. By recognizing and correcting for these biases, we can make more informed and rational decisions. It's also important to understand that everyone is susceptible to cognitive biases and is not a reflection of intelligence or competence. The first cognitive bias we will be discussing is confirmation bias. This bias refers to the tendency to search for, interpret, and remember information in a way that confirms our pre-existing beliefs or hypotheses. Uh, for example, if someone believes that climate change is not real, they may only stick out information that supports uh, that belief and ignore information that contradicts it. So, confirmation bias can lead to the inform, uh, reinforcement of false beliefs and can prevent people from considering alternative viewpoints. The second cognitive bias is false consensus bias. This bias refers to the tendency to overestimate the extent to which other people share our beliefs, attitudes, and values. For example, if someone strongly believes in a particular political candidate, they may assume that most people share their views. False consensus bias can lead to an overestimate, uh, overestimation of one's own popularity or agreement with others and can make it difficult to understand different perspectives. Okay. The third one is the effect uh, heuristic. This bias refers to the tendency to make decisions based on emotional or intuitive feelings rather than logic or reason. This bias can influence our, our decision about things like what we eat, how we vote, or who we trust. Uh, for example, if someone has a positive emotional a reaction to a particular brand, they may likely to buy that brand even if it is more expensive or less effective than other options. 
The next one is the uh, clustering uh, illusion. This bias refers to the tendency to see patterns or clusters in random data. Uh, for example, people might believe that they see patterns in the stock market or support score, even though these patterns are not statistically significant. The clustering illusion can lead to incorrect assumptions about cause and effect relationships and can result in poor decision making. Okay, the last one, uh, the last one we, uh, we discussed here is a availability uh, heuristic. This bias refers to the tendency to rely on easily accessible information when making decisions. Uh, for example, if someone hears about a shark attack in the news, they may overestimate the likelihood of a shark attack when they go swimming. Availability heuristic can lead to inaccurate perceptions or risk can make can make it difficult to evaluate uh, complex information. Okay, so how to handle cognitive biases? One way to handle cognitive biases is to become aware of them. By recognizing these biases, we can become more aware of our own thinking and decision making processes. We can also try to seek out alternative perspectives and information that challenge our existing beliefs. It's also important to approach decisions with a rational and logical mindset rather than rely, uh, relying solely on emotions or intuition. Okay, so now see if you can support us uh, to pass this, uh, the, the bias in each of these five uh, uh, scenarios okay thank you for your listening